What's up my loves? I'm back again with another vlog. So I am starting this a little bit late today. It's already 3 p.m. And I'm just about to go out because all morning CJ and I have been painting. Like the house looks like an absolute mess because let me just show you. So we've been trialing and erroring, trialing and erroring, doing trial and error on um, some paintings for the bedroom. Like for the longest time I've been wanting to Deck, like redecorate the bedroom but we just never had time and yeah today we've just been doing some painting and I really like this one but I kind of feel like this stuff here this is actually silver leafing but low-key it looks like alfoil so I think I'm just gonna redo the whole thing and these ones can just like go into other rooms of the house but I think I want to redo this and do it without the um, silver leafing because it legit it looks like alfoil so you know I actually was planning to have like three canvases above the bed in the bedroom and I do have one left over so I need to go out and get two more and then I'm gonna come home and do that CJ is actually having a rest because he's going to work this evening and yeah I'm just about to leave and I figured like since it's just gonna be me I may as well vlog today so yeah, you guys can come on my painting journey. I'm going now, honey. Oh. Wanna say hello? hello? Okay, bye. All right, guys. Let's go. I'm gonna turn these lights off. It's actually cold inside our house, but then when you go outside, like it's not that cold. And I'm really out of breath because I feel like kind of dizzy i don't know why but like lately for the past few days i've been feeling really like lightheaded and out of breath and i i don't know why i'm just yeah anyways let's go i just got to the mall and i realized that i totally have a camera mount in my car but like something's wrong with it like it's broken like it doesn't hold the camera up properly especially when the car is moving I was I was like thinking about it while I was driving I was like oh yeah I have a camera mount but it doesn't actually work so I do, do need to remind myself to get a new one of those I'm actually just putting my shoes on I'm one of those people that like can't drive with shoes on at all I'm sure there's been plenty of other of you guys who like don't drive with shoes on but even if I'm wearing like proper enclosed shoes I have to take them off. I just feel like I can't feel, I don't know, especially because I drive manual, like I can't feel the clutch point properly if I'm wearing shoes. So anyways, we're good to go now. I don't think I'm going to spend much time here. I really just want to get the canvases and look for something else and then I'm out. So let's go. Alright, so I found everything that I was looking for, except for the other, like I got my two canvases that I wanted, but the other thing that I was looking for, I don't even know if we have it here in Australia, so yeah, it was going to be like another DIY project thing, but I don't even know if I can find like the main thing that I need for it, so I was going to go and visit my parents, but it's already, what's the time? It's already 4.30 and I think traffic going home at this time is really bad. Plus it's Friday today so yeah I don't think I'm going to go to my home's place. I'm just going to go home, get started on this painting and yeah I also had to get myself a coffee. I'm really 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 trying to cut back on like sugary drinks because I do have a lot of Starbucks I have to admit I have a lot of Starbucks and I have a lot of Zarafis which is like another coffee chain store here in Australia and I need to cut back on that because yeah you girls drinking too much coffee okay so I just got home and CJ's gone to work so it's just me by myself and I wanted to quickly show you guys like the thing that I was trying to emulate when I was painting those dodgy ass paintings. They're kind of just like chilling over there on the newspaper on the floor. But, so this is what I was trying to make it look like, but I don't know, it low key looks like I just got some aluminum foil and just like stuck it on. 
CJ and I were trying to be artistic with it, but I don't know, it kind of looks cool. It depends which way you hang it, I suppose. So we'll probably put this in another room of the house. But um, that was another attempt I like, did some like little brush splotches on it, but then I was like, no, I don't like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is pretty much the same as this with like the textured paint, but not include the aluminum foil. It's actually like legit silver leafing that I bought from the craft store. Um, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I'm just gonna do it my own way. I'm just gonna do it how I think it should look and hopefully it turns out okay. Anyways, um, so my idea, let me just open the window actually. So as you can see in our bedroom above our bed, even just this like area of our room just looks so bare. So hopefully, I don't know if it would look good with two or three, but we bought three. So hopefully it turns out okay, but the plan is to have them going across the wall up there. And I just realized that I forgot to buy hooks, but that's okay because they're probably gonna need like a day or two to dry properly. This is the other side of this room. That's how it looks. It's like pretty plain as well, but I think I want to um, excuse all of our laundry that I have not put away. Um, I think I have to like kind of redecorate. I want to get like a taller vase and different flowers to put there and yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so let us get started with this DIY. This is actually our dining table and we've like pretty much turned it into a little craft station. So let's get to it. So because I didn't want to like waste money on so many different shades of gray when I could just like customize my own. I pretty much just got black and white acrylic paint and then I have this like really metallic silver one as well. And I just am going to like mix up different shades of gray. So then I don't have to waste money buying different colors of gray that cost like five bucks a tube and I just make my own. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. I'm just mixing up a color and I'm just going to start putting onto the canvas. Inside lane, missing exits, include to the pavement, between the lines, I'll keep my gaze straight ahead, as the last stop flies by. first one done what do you guys think does it look all right if you're wondering what um this thing is that i'm using you're supposed to use like a um one of those scraping tools this is literally a piece of acrylic <laughs> yeah i like how it has a lot of texture if you guys can see it like i'm not going to touch it because it's wet but i like how it has a lot of texture and i think what i'm going to do now is sprinkle all the glitter on top because that was the plan. All right guys, this is progress so far. One is done. I don't know if I kind of like overdid this one. So, I don't know, we'll see how that goes, but I'm about to get started on the next piece. Okay guys, I just finished the last one. I feel like the last one looks the best. This is the one I did last. That is the first one and then I did, oh no wait. Then I did this one, this one's first. Then I did that one. And this one's the last one, and I feel like this one's the best. I actually got white paints on my black pants, so I'm gonna quickly throw these into the wash because I think I'm just gonna leave these here to dry. I'll probably like set it up a bit neater because seeing all this mess is like <sighs> stressing me out. I hate having mess in the house, like I just don't like it. So I'm going to take my pants off 
put them in the washing machine and then I will tidy up this area. So it's currently 7 p.m. and I was going to have something to eat, but I'm not super, super hungry yet. So I'm actually going to go to Kmart. There's a couple of vases that I saw in the catalog. So I was like, ooh, I want to go and check those out. Plus, like, I don't know, I don't really have anything to do. I should edit one of my videos, but I don't know. I'm in the mood to go to Kmart. I know that Kmart in the US is like really crappy from what I've heard. Like everybody says like Kmart is just really not the business over in the US. Here in Australia, Kmart is the bomb. Like Kmart has everything you could possibly need for a home. Like if you're moving out, everything you need, you can find at Kmart. Plus it's super, super, super inexpensive. So that's why I love Kmart so much. Hi, I'm going to go now and I will bring you guys along with me. All right, so these are the vases that I was gonna get, but these ones look much prettier. And they're not too like girly, cause they're kind of like a dark chrome. So I kind of like these. I was gonna spray paint these silver if I was to get them though. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh my goodness, you guys, that shopping trip was almost like a massive fail because I was walking into Kmart and I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like I feel like I've left something that I need with me at home. And I looked at my wallet and I left my freaking card at home. So I was about to like drive home and then I was just like, okay, this is a fail. I'm not even gonna bother coming back because I just cannot be bothered to make the trip twice. Thank God for cardless cash. I've never actually done that before, like where you um, use the like the bank's app on your phone to like get a special code and then you can get cash out from an ATM using just this like pin code that they send you. Oh, thank goodness I had that because I was just like, I don't even have any cash on me. Like how am I supposed to pay for the things I need? So I quickly ran out to the ATM, got my cash and <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got. I am like seriously admiring my artwork right now. I, I don't know if you guys actually will like it or if you think it looks cool, but for real, I'm obsessed with it. I'm honest, like I can't wait to hang these things up. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna do a Kmart haul. I got a bunch of these hydrangeas. I actually have these pretty much all over my house, but the ones in this bo bouquet, 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 dining room, table, dining table arrangement, they're actually from like some homeware store. They were actually pretty expensive. I don't even, re like, I don't know why I paid so much for them, but um, yeah, these hydrangeas are from like a little homeware store. These bad boys, you can get like a bouquet for three bucks. I also got a bunch of. Let me just get them out, actually. I got a bunch of basic tees, so like a khaki, like olive color, just a gray one, and then this like blush pink kind of shade. These are like three bucks each. I, I like getting these just to like wear inside of jackets and stuff, especially now that we're coming up to winter. Um, sometimes I'm just like, what am I supposed to wear inside this jacket? All I want to wear is a t-shirt, so. I just got some of those. I got these two vases. I ended up going with these and actually I don't think I'm gonna spray paint them guys. Like, I know I said that I was gonna spray paint these silver, but I'm kind of feeling the different tones. And CJ's probably gonna be like, why did you buy more vases? Because seriously, in my linen cupboard, I have like a collection of vases up here that I only use, like I bring them out from time to time whenever I get like flower arrangements and stuff, like when I buy flowers, like fresh flowers. But CJ's gonna be like, why did you buy more vases? We don't need them. <laughs> I'm actually quite hungry now, it's 8.30. I didn't expect to spend that long at Kmart, but honestly, I said I wasn't gonna spend long there and I was in there for like an hour. So I'm going to make myself some dinner. I actually just feel like having avocado on toast. Um, I don't actually have it on toast. I like to use this Turkish bread. So I'm going to cut this up. I'm already preheating the oven. And yeah, I'm pretty sure my avocados are ready. Let's see. I think they're ready. Because when I bought them, they were pretty. Ooh, this one's like on the brink. This one, you can stay there for a little while. I think I have lemon. This is my lemon holder. Do I have a lemon in here? Yes, there's a lemon in here. Okay. All right, let's do this. Oh, 
baby. Look at that. This is the finished product. I thought I had cracked pepper, but I didn't. So I had to use like just this really ground cracked pepper. So that's why it looks a bit funny, but it's time to eat. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm feeling a little bit tired. It's like 11.30. I've spent like the last couple of hours just sitting here on the couch editing. Um, I'm editing. Let me show you guys actually. I don't know if this tutorial is going to be up before This vlog, but I'm editing the tutorial for this look I've had the TV going on in the background and like this is every single channel that I go on Because I've tried to find something like interesting to watch every single channel that I go on there's like a witch movie on and I don't know why but yeah, there's so many witch movies on tonight, and It's not Halloween, so I don't know. I just like thought that was a little bit strange. Anyways, um, yeah, so I've been editing this video. I'm not sure if it's going to be up before this vlog. I don't know. See how I go. I never really know like when I'm going to upload videos. So they kind of just like sit in my computer and then when I feel like editing them is when they go up. I never have like a specific order for what I want to go up first, if that makes sense. Enough of that. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys also, I apologize if I have anything in between my teeth, but do you see what I see? My snaggle tooth is gone. <laughs> Legit, you guys, after my last vlog, my last vlog that I uploaded was me going to the dentist, getting my braces tightened. The next morning I woke up and my tooth was like this. Like it's moved so quickly. I literally woke up the next morning and I was like, my mouth feels so different and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, my snaggle tooth is gone. Snaggle tooth, that's like my nickname for my old tooth. But yeah, I just was like so shocked. So this is how my teeth are looking. My bite is still normal because obviously I haven't had my um, elastics yet, but this is how it's looking. Also, don't mind my dry skin. I've had dry skin the past couple of days because I've been really stressed out. But yeah, isn't that crazy, guys? I was so shocked. Like, I could not believe it. A lot of you guys have been interested in my braces lately. So I feel like um, I will continue to talk about them in vlogs whenever I can. Because I've been getting a lot of questions about them. So the metal thing, like the metal wire that's here has been cutting into my cheeks so much. I don't know why, but I have like a permanent cut in my cheeks. Like it just doesn't go away. I've tried to put wax on my, on this wire here. It's only on this side as well. I've tried putting wax on it. Just doesn't want to work. So that's the thing that bugs me the most. I've also gotten a lot of questions asking like whether it hurts. To be honest guys, getting your braces does not hurt. For me personally, when my teeth move, it doesn't hurt. What hurts for me is the metal like cutting into my cheeks. That's what hurts for me. Like the actual moving of the teeth does not hurt. It's just when, you know, you've got a cut on your cheek and then the metal continues to cut into that cut deeper, if that makes sense. That's what, that's the painful part. But when it comes to the races like being tightened and your teeth moving, for me, that doesn't hurt. I know some people don't like that feeling, but it's kind of comforting for me. Like, I like that tightness feeling in my mouth. <laughs> if that makes sense, that sounds so weird. Yeah, that's just me personally. I I thought I'd address that because I get a lot of questions. People be like, oh, does it hurt? Like, I'm getting my braces soon and I, I'm really scared. Guys, it doesn't hurt. And getting your teeth pulled out, it doesn't hurt. That's another thing is a lot of people have commented on my vlogs and been like, oh my gosh, I have to get teeth extracted as well. And I'm so scared. Don't be scared guys, like they fully numb your mouth. You don't even feel the pain of the tooth being pulled out. All you feel is like a little bit of pressure as they're trying to yank it out of your mouth and that's about it. It's nothing to be scared of, I promise. Break away, get your soul. 
sober case Stop dwelling on empty words Stop stalling in the doorway And cancel the crew